the pass, end zone, touchdown, Louisiana. 2008 seemed to be the year the Raging Cajuns were destined to play in a bowl. They were 5-3 and three and rolling, but then they lost three of their final four, and that kept them on the outside looking in. The end of 2008 can be summed up in one word. The frustration, man, it was... I, next question, man, I don't even want to talk about it. After that Utah game, looked like we just, we just fell down the hill, like everything just started going bad for us. One more win would have been the difference, and the goal this year is to get that one extra win that will make them a bowl team. But to do so, the Cajuns will have to replace their three biggest playmakers on offense. Running back Tyrell Fenroy, quarterback Mike Decimo, and wide receiver Jason Cherry. That trio accounted for 31 of the team's 45 touchdowns last season. Uh, I mean, we lost some great guys. I mean, Tyrell, Mike, we all love them to death. But, uh, you know, we've been looked upon other receivers, running back. We didn't have really, you know, anybody stand out. So we had to stand up, we had to stand up as a unit. Yeah, we did lose a lot. We did lose the top three players. But well, we got a lot on offense. You know, we don't just got those three players that we got to count on this year. We got where we can move the ball around from the quarterbacks, running backs, to the receivers, to the offensive line doing what they got to do. So I think we can come out and execute. But, you know, they, it's going to hurt, but I think we can pick it up. Offensively, you know, we're missing a few people here and there. But, uh, you know, and that's offense is about, you know, working together all the time. Sometimes defensively, it, it doesn't exactly work that way. But, uh, you know, I mean, I'm, I feel good about our offense. The hottest battle of the spring was to replace Decimo as the Cajun signal caller. Brad McGuire got valuable playing time last year when Decimo was injured, and he appeared to have the inside track. But McGuire's own injury has allowed Chris Mason the opportunity to close the gap. It's a battle that will rage into the summer. I think it's a healthy competition. I mean, you know, it's not like we hate each other or anything like that. I mean, we're, you know, we're pretty tight. So, you know, it's just a healthy competition. I mean, we go out there and we compete. I think we're, we're better. We become better quarterbacks because of that. Well, if I was Coach Bustle, how would you sell, sell me? Why, why should you be the starting quarterback? Well, I mean, that's his decision, but I mean, ultimately, I feel like, you know, I can I can lead this team, and I hope, I feel like the guys, you know, know I can lead this team. I mean, I don't know. We both bring the same the same things to the table. I mean, whoever's competing at the end, at the end of the, uh, you know, I guess the fall right now is going to, you know, is going to get the starting job, but I think, you know, whoever goes out there, I mean, the second guy is just as good. While the offense has several key holes to fill, the defense has no such issue. Nine starters return from that side of the ball, which means the D may have to carry the Cajuns. I think that's what we're trying to get to defensively. You know, is, is defense can win games or, or keep you in games rather than, you know, get you out of games. And, you know, we haven't done that consistently here. And, but I think this defense is going to have a great chance to do that. And the offense carries us last year. So we, we experienced now as a defense and the offense young. So we got to step up and carry the defense. We got to carry the offense because we, you know what I'm saying, we the overclass now. So if the Cajuns want to go bowling, it may be up to the defense. But if the offense can do its part, then maybe one of the longest postseason droughts in college football will finally come to an end. In Lafayette, Paul Boron for CST Tonight.